Welcome back to Mystery Truth. Caused tomb discovered. Burial cave sealed with blood red warning, so nobody will open it. A cursed tomb with a chilling blood red inscription warning off would be grave robbers and anyone intent on reusing the space has been uncovered in a newly found cave in Israel. The tomb is the first to be discovered in the necropolis of Beth Shearim, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, located 10 miles southeast of Haifa in more than 65 years. Beit Shearim was an important Jewish town following the destruction of Jerusalem in AD 70, but it declined with the onset of the Islamic period. The necropolis, located on a hill, is home to more than 30 cave systems carved out of the limestone bedrock. However, most were broken into by grave robbers in the 8th and 9th centuries. The inscription on the, t on the stone blocking the entrance to the newly found tomb, which is thought to be 1,800 years old, reads Yaakov Hagel, which vows to curse anybody who would open this grave, so nobody will open it. Archaeologist professor at the Erich of the University of Haifa explained that the tomb's occupant likely intended to ensure that his resting place really was eternal, she said. It was to prevent others from opening the tomb at a later point. This, she explained, happened quite often, reusing tombs through time. The inscription seems to have largely served its intended purpose, at least for now, with the archaeologist not intended to study the tomb at present. Professor Erich said, No excavations are planned at the moment. We just took care of the inscription and blocked the cave to keep it safe for the time being. Even without plans to study the tomb proper, the inscription is already causing a stir among members of the archaeological community. This is partly due to the fact that the tomb is the first to be discovered in the necropolis in more than six decades, but also because the inscription is the first to explicitly identify the deceased as a convert to Judaism. According to the archaeologists, the name Yaakov Hagel translates to Jacob the Proselyte, the name given to someone who adopts the Jewish faith. Yaakov arguably chose an unlikely time to find Judaism, for at the time he lived, another religion was on the rise. Professor Ellish said, the inscription is from the late Roman or early Byzantine period in which Christianity was strengthened. And here we find evidence that there are still people who choose to join the Jewish people. We know of converts in the Roman period, mostly from funerary contexts, such as the 1st century AD Jerusalem or 3rd to 4th century AD Rome. But this is the first proselyte from Beit Sha'arim, and they are not well attested from that time in Galilee. So this is real news. The cave system containing the newly discovered tomb was discovered serendipitously last year by one Yonatan Olin, a conservationist with Israel's Nature and Parks Authority, which manages the necropolis site. It was within the innermost cave that the course inscription was found, shrouded in complete darkness. Alongside Jacob's inscription was one for a second tomb that translated to God the blessed Judah, the owner of this tomb. Both inscriptions, the archaeologists reported, had been penned in Greek. With the initial study of the course inscription complete, the stone tablet has been transferred over to the Israel Antiquities Authority for preservation and potentially public display in the future. Wow, what an interesting finding. But do you think the archaeologists are right to exhume a body that has been resting in peace for a long period of time? What do you have to say concerning this? Drop your comments in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much.